again. What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Byron Vasquez Jr. I'm a Los Angeles based actor and here you will find personal stories of my journey as an actor as well as tips and tricks and other acting related content. In this video, I will be recounting my experience starting out as a young, fresh faced actor working on a TV show as a Hollywood extra. So without further ado, let's roll the camera and action. I graduated high school in June of 2002. It was an exciting time in my life because I was now going into the world and chasing my dreams. As I said in the previous video, my parents were not supportive of my career choice. However, they also didn't try to stop me. My mom suggested, If you want to be an actor, then why don't you do some research and see what you need to do to get there? So I went to my local bookstore and I bought this book, An Actor's Guide, Your First Year in Hollywood which listed by steps what an actor needs to do in their first year. And sure enough, one chapter said, get your feet wet by doing extra work. Extra work refers to employment as a background actor for scenes in television or film. And by the end of August, <laughs> and by the end of August, I started pursuing my career. The book provided a list of different agencies that would cast background actors. I decided to go to Central Casting in Burbank, California. I drove to Burbank early one morning. At the time, they weren't doing it by appointment. They had an allotted number of people that they would take per day, and if you got there early enough, you would be one of those people. You had to bring your ID, a social security card, and a fee of about $25. There, they would take your picture, you would turn all that information into the casting agents, and they would give you a welcome packet. In that welcome packet was a list of do's and don'ts when you're working on a set, as well as how to interact with actors you work with, which was pretty much Don't talk to them. Also in this packet was a phone number that you would call to hear a list of recordings to see what casting jobs were available. If you found one that matched your description, you would dial the extension given, leave your name and your social security number, and the casting agent would then look up your profile to see if you were a match. If you were, they would call you and give you the job. They usually called in the evening and the jobs were for the following day or the day after that. In late September 2002, I booked my first background job as a high school football player on the NBC drama American Dreams. It was certainly a dream come true for me because I was now going to be working on a TV show. Whew. I was given directions to park in a specified location in downtown Los Angeles, and there they would shuttle us over to the set where I had to check in with the production assistant. I checked in and I was directed to go to wardrobe because we were shooting a period piece. The show was taking place in the 1950s, so I had to get into costume. Now this was monumental for me because I was finally on a Hollywood set. There were trailers and crew everywhere, and there I was, this innocent, doe-eyed, 18-year-old, non-union extra, the bottom of the total pole and loving every minute of it. Until I learned a valuable Hollywood lesson that nothing is as it appears to be. So here we were in the heat of September in Los Angeles, but the show was taking place in the cold fall of Philadelphia. Rojo fitted me with pants, a long sleeve shirt, a sweater, a wool jacket, gloves, and a beanie, and some shoes from the 1950s. Ew. It was hot. And they had me walk back and forth in front of the camera in a scene with one of the principal actors, Will Estes, who played J.J. Pryor, in a scene in which he was fighting with his girlfriend. Okay, All right, see you. you look good at practice. I watched in the parking lot. The production took a water hose and drenched the set to give the feel of a crisp fall morning. Well, what happened? I slipped right in front of the camera, right in front of the actors, right in front of the crew. I was mortified. I did two more scenes in that episode. I did two more scenes in that episode. I did two more scenes in that episode. Why did you? Two more scenes. Two more scenes. I did two more scenes in that episode where I played a football player. Filming a high school football game was really interesting. Because first, they would film the actors in the crowd and all the crowd reaction shots. Then they would send everybody home and then they would film the actual football game. 
Now us, the extras who were playing the football players, we just sat on the sidelines. The actual football team was with collegiate and former collegiate football players who were actually running the plays over and over again. And then later on, they would bring in the actors, Will Estes and Paul Wesley, to do the close-up shots. <laughs> One scene I did, two episodes later, one of the characters was bullying another character in shop class. Now there I was, this doe-eyed boy again, and I just wanted to watch the actors work. So the actors went ahead in character and they did the fight. Suddenly the director said cut. He gave the actors some notes and then looked at me and said, you, keep doing what you were doing. I realized that what I was doing looked like a student watching a fight about to happen, but really I was just watching the actors do what I wanted to do, and that was act. I wish I had footage of that particular scene. I, I looked everywhere for it, I couldn't find it, but on that scene you could see me just watching. <laughs> just watching the actors work. It wasn't me being an extra, I was just really watching those actors go. I'll never forget the experience working on that show. The hours were long, but it was so much fun. And I have to say that Will Estes and Tom Verica were two of the nicest people who worked on that show. I had a conversation with Will Estes about gymnastics because he kept doing handstands all the time on set and I had just gotten into gymnastics myself. A couple years ago, I actually had an audition for a big guest star role on a TV show called Blue Bloods in which Will Estes is a star on the show. I wanted so badly to book that role because I wanted my story to come full circle. My first time being an extra would have been working with Will and my first time being a guest star on a TV show would have been with working with Will. I didn't get the part and it was just not my story to tell. About a month later I booked another TV show and this time it was my favorite TV show of all time, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> I was in Season 7 Episode Sleeper, in which Buffy goes to an outdoor mall and follows Spike. That was one of the longest hours I ever had working on a TV show. We had to film at Culver City Studios, we got there at Friday night at 5 o'clock and we didn't finish filming until Saturday morning at 7 o'clock. I almost got sent home because I was wearing a white shirt and I wasn't supposed to, but luckily I had a denim jacket on which they made me button up and I was able to stay. I got to see Sarah Michelle Gellar work as well as James Marsters who I shouted, good luck James, and he said thank you. Uh, he was really super nice, and it was just a great time working on that set. What are you doing there? Drinking. What? A drink. In total, I did three TV shows. I did three episodes of American Dreams, two that year, and one a year later. And I did another show called Joan of Arcadia. I got like $200 for every episode I did. I realized that I wanted to pursue acting and not just be an extra, so I never did extra work again. The experiences were fun, but educational. I got to learn how to navigate on a set, plus I learned the jargon that's used. And I got to be in front of the camera and play pretend, skills that I certainly would come to use and develop in the future. So that's my story. If you're interested in starting your acting career, I suggest that you do extra work a couple of times. You'll learn what it's like to be on a professional set, plus you'll make extra money. There is even people out there with no aspirations to be actors who do this full time, but there is a lot of sitting around and waiting. They put you in an area called extras holding, and there the people play cards, they read, they make new friends. They sit around and wait until the production is ready to use you. So there you have it. That's my story. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more of my personal stories as an actor, as well as tips and tricks and other acting-related content. But for now, that's a wrap. Boom. Wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap.